Hey, what's up, everybody? Marcos Vegas, part two now with uh, Bernard Hopkins here in Los Angeles. Bernard, uh, like I mentioned, there's a lot of stuff I, I want to cover with you. Uh, first of which, I want to get your breakdown on, on a few events coming up. Uh, one, Canelo against Bavol and then Golovkin. What do you make of the Bavol fight, and do you give Bavol any sort of chance of beating uh, Canelo in there? Well, everybody has a chance to a point, but if you're saying that you see a threat that that can be possible, I say no. I say it's wishful thinking. Some might be hoping that it's just, you know, be competitive. They'll take that. Canelo right now is his own um, machine to make whatever he wants to happen right now. And listen, only very few fighters in boxing history, especially in the last 30 years, that, had an op that have an opportunity like Canelo has right now. I mean, to me, Golovkin, fight's going to be just as easy as, say, the second one. The first one, uh, it's kind of rough, right? You can go either way for it, but he got the nod. It ain't, I don't consider that a robbery. Right? I've seen robberies. But I say right now that when you look at the title that we give every year to the pound for pound fighter, if anybody said, does this need to be looked at or need to be questioned or even boxing debate? need to have their license or their microphone or anything that they have dealing with boxing taken from them. They no longer can be a part of a, a, a instigating of something that looks so obviously and is obviously to people that might be just fans that don't have their feet really into the business on the inside like that. It is what it is. And, and I'll be talking the same way if he was with us or with someone else and which he is or by himself. At the end, or all above. At the end of the day, he had his moment right now. There are very few fighters in boxing history, and you can name a lot of great ones, where the, the world is your oyster. Is these two sets of opponents, uh, Baval and Golovkin, harder than Charlo and Benavides? Because there's a lot of fan contention there, uh, some of which saying, no, he picked the, the harder course in Baval, which many feel could be the trickiest out of all those people. Others say, Nick, no, like the Charlo Benavides route would have been the hardest route for Canelo. I'm going to say this, and I've said it before. To me, out of all the guys, and even if they throw somebody else in there, I don't care if it's a cruiserweight, Jamal Charlo will be, to me, Canelo's biggest, biggest threat. And test. I'm, I'm, why? Okay. Yeah, because people would say Benavidez, not, not Charlo. Canelo will smash Benavidez. Benavidez. He'll smash him. Really? Smash him. Uh, what, what do you see there? Because a lot of people, you look at me confused, I'm looking the same way. A lot of people think David's bigger, he throws more, he'll pressure. Canelo doesn't do well when you pressure him. throws more at Canelo gives Canelo opportunity for you not to throw more. Let me say it again in case I missed it at home. Anything that he throws at Canelo, you know what Canelo going to do? All day will make him not throw anymore the way he was throwing the round two before then. I'm telling you, there's, Mike Tyson says something great, everybody got a plan until they get hit. And I think Mike Tyson got it from another old saying of a fighter from back in the day. Everybody got a plan until they realize, now I know what they're talking about. It's too goddamn late, you're in the ring. 20,000 people in the arena. What do you do? You either try to survive and save some embarrassment or you try to survive, you try to, you try to win. It is what it is. And, and, and okay, you can't say I'm biased. We don't promote Canelo. I'm just trying to tell you what I see.
So what, what do you see in Charlo then that you feel is, uh, is more of a threat than Golovkin, Benavides, Bavall, or anybody else? Personality, his his personality, his style, and he's in a position that Canelo was in when he fought Floor Mayweather. He want to prove himself. See, I can't look at that spirit and not understand what it is. Everybody else might not understand what it is. And for good reasons, they have a reason to speak other than what they think they know, what I know they don't know. All that end skills together is a recipe of a uh, uh, recipe that I want to get that chance. All of us had that that, re that reached that level of supremacy. We knew when we are ready. Not by what the fans say, not by what handlers say. You know when you're ready. And I believe, to me, out of all the people I said, and someone was bigger and someone was the same size, not smaller, but cruiserweight to heavyweight. I said his biggest threat without being in any of those weight is Jamal Charlo. There's been a, um, a lot of criticism on Charlo with the opponents he's facing, and a lot of fans are saying he doesn't want to challenge himself. He, he doesn't want to face guys, and they'll point out, you know, uh, Andre, you know, uh, Munguia, even though that um, he wanted to fight Munguia, so I'll, I'll take Munguia out, but they bring up that, like, uh, an instance where he said no to the Canelo fight uh, a few years back. Uh, what do you do? You think he's been handled well uh, on that side? Like the business was, yeah. I think the fighters have an opportunity to speak up for themselves. And I think if he's been handled wrong, I think he's smart enough, and I want to believe he's smart enough to be able to say what he want, even those who might say he's not ready or undeserving. Or let's go the other opposite way. See, because at the end of the day, the criticism don't go to actually the people that who might be saying this or that or where you should go. It falls on a fighter's footstep. They starting to realize that. They starting to realize that when time go by and that opportunity is not there no more. They're not going to say the manager, the promoter, the advisor. Guess what they're going to say? I wish I would have seen such and such fight, that fight. I wish they would have did. You did no, no, no fighter of, 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 of integrity, and that's important, want to live with that. You want to, you want, you, if you, who you are, and you really mean it, you only can con your way through, but not all the way through. See, through, they ain't catch it. But you can't count it, you can't con your way all the way through. You gotta either show or get the fuck out of the way. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV, on Twitter, and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.